In this video, we will discuss objective questions on lath machine. So this is very important video and please watch this video completely. So the very first question, lath bed is usually made up of, the answer is cast iron. So the lath bed is usually made up of cast iron. So here you can see the lath machine and this portion, this portion is known as lath bed and it is made up of cast iron. Next question, lath centers are provided with the following standard taper. The answer is Morse taper. So these are the lath centers. These are nothing but the lath centers and they are provided with the taper that is known as Morse taper. Next question, which of the following lath operations required that the cutting edge of the tool bit be placed exactly on the work center line? The answer is facing. Okay. Here you can see the facing operation and this is the face of the workpiece and this is the tool tip. Now the tool tip is placed exactly on the work center line. This is the work center line and the tool tip is placed on the work center line and hence the answer is facing. Next question, which of the following operation perform on a lathe machine? The answer is metal removing. Okay. So here you can see the metal is removed with the help of single point cutting tool. So the metal removing is performed on a lathe machine. Next question, which part of the lathe machine is called as live center? The answer is headstock. So this is the headstock. This is known as headstock and this is known as live center. Okay. So the headstock is also called as live center whereas the tail stock is called as dead center. So this is the live center of the lath machine and this one is the dead center of a lath machine. Which part of the lath machine is called as the dead center? So as we already discussed the tail stock, the tail stock, this portion which I am showing with the help of this cursor, this is known as dead center. Next question, which of the following operation is called as internal turning operation? The answer is boring. Okay. So here you can see the boring operation. Now uh, the boring is nothing but the operation in which we, we uh, increase the diameter of already drilled hole that is known as boring. So th that is also called as internal turning. Next question, the chuck is used to the answer is it is used to hold the workpiece. So here you can see the four jaw chuck and this chuck is used to hold the workpiece. Next question, the depth of the cut for a cylindrical jaw piece is, the answer is D1 minus D2 divided by 2 where D1 is outer diameter and D2 is inside diameter. So D1 minus D2 divided by 2. Next question, by turning operation we can, the answer is we can reduce the diameter. So by turning operation we can reduce the diameter. So here you can see the step turning operation. So with the turning operation we can reduce the diameter of the job. Next question, by facing operation we can, the answer is we can reduce the length. So by facing operation we can reduce the length of this job. Next question. Which machine tool is known as mother of the machine tool? The answer is lath. So lath machine tool is known as mother of the machine tool. Next question. Lath is primarily used for producing. The answer is none of the mention. So it is not used to produce flat curve taper surfaces. It is basically used to produce the cylindrical jobs. Next question. What is necessary condition for turning? The answer is cutting tool should be harder than the material of the workpiece. So this is the basic condition for the turning. That is your cutting tool should be harder than the workpiece material. Next question. Traversing of a tool parallel to the axis of the job is termed as. The answer is longitudinal feed. So here you can see the two type of feed. So when your cutting tool travel along this direction that is parallel to the axis of the lathe machine or parallel to the axis of the workpiece it is known as longitudinal feed and when it travels perpendicular to the workpiece axis that is known as cross feed next question 
which type of feed is needed in facing operation the answer is cross feed so in case of facing operation we need a cross feed whereas in turning operation we need longitudinal feed next question the following part of the lathe serves as a housing for driving pulley and back gear the answer is head stock so the head stock consists of all the driving mechanism so this is the head stock and all driving mechanism is included in the head stock next question the following is used for holding bore part for machining their outside surface on the lathe the answer is mandrel so the bore part the part which is having hole that is held with the help of mandrel and these are nothing but different mandrels next question the following is used to turn very long job between the center on a lathe the answer is steady rest so this is known as steady rest now here the length of the job is very large or uh, we have a long job okay so it may be buckle so in order to protect it from the buckling the steady rest is provided so the steady rate rest is used to turn very long job between the centers on a lathe next question in lathe form tools are used to produce the answer is the surface which are neither cylindrical nor tapered so the form tool are used to produce the surfaces which are neither cylindrical nor tapered so here you can see here we we want to produce a job like this which is not cylindrical and not taper so at that time form tool can be used next question an operation perform for enlarging an existing hole to only a limited length from its one end the answer is boring okay so here you can see the boring operation so the the already drilled hole get enlarged with the help of boring operation we can enlarge its diameter next question swing diameter over the lathe is the largest diameter of the work over the bed so here you can see the swing diameter okay now swing over carriage okay so the maximum diameter that we can use over this lathe machine that is nothing but the swing diameter okay so that is one of the specification of the lathe so here you can see the distance between the center that means this much length job we can turn over this lathe machine this much diameter job we can turn over this lathe machine next question blank space is a shape in which the diameter of the both end of the bar are different that is known as taper okay so this is the taper job here the diameter is different at this end and here the diameter is different okay so this is the larger diameter this is the smaller diameter and this job is known as or this shape is known as taper shape so taper is a shape in which the diameter of both ends of the bar are different next question crater wear occurs only on the the answer is on the face of the cutting tool at a short distance from the cutting edge only so the crater occur on the face of the cutting tool next question the process of beveling sharp ends of the workpiece is called as the answer is chamfering okay so the process of beveling sharp ends of the workpiece is called as chamfering next question what is the function of the cone pulley drive in a lathe machine the answer is change the spindle speed so here you can see the cone pulley these are nothing but the cone pulley and with this cone pulley we can change the spindle speed so we have a motor over here and that motor is connected with a belt okay here you can see the belt and we can change the rpm of this spindle with the help of this cone pulley next question which process squeezes the metals into the picks and troughs which with plastic deformation the answer is knurling okay so here you can see the knurling operation okay so whenever we want to produce some pattern over the uh, work piece we we can use the knurl tools so these are the knurling tools and with this knurling tool we can carry out the operation that is knurling operation so in knurling operation the 
metal gets squeezed into the picks and rubs with the plastic deformation. Next question, three jaw chuck is also known as, the answer is universal or self-centering chuck. Three jaw chuck is also known as universal or self-centering chuck. So these are nothing but the jaws of the chuck. Next question, which of the following chuck is also known as dog chuck? So the four jaw chuck is also known as dog chuck. So here you can see the number of jaws are four and four jaw chuck is also known as dog chuck. Next question, T bolts are used for, the answer is, it is used for both clamping irregular work and assembling balance weight. Next question, which type of diameter does three jaw chuck hold? The answer is internal as well as external diameter. Okay, so with the help of this chuck, we can hold internal diameter as well as external diameter. Next question, in combination chuck, jaws may be adjusted as, the answer is either independently or together. So in combination chuck, we can handle the jaws independently or together. Next question, why gripping mandrels are made up of high carbon steel? The answer is both to avoid distortion and wear. So the gripping mandrels are made up of high carbon steel to avoid the distortion and wear. Next question, which of the following mandrels are most commonly used? The answer is plain mandrels. Plain mandrels are most commonly used in the lath machine. So these are the plain mandrels. Next question, which of the following represents the formula for cutting speed? The answer is cutting speed equal to pi d n, where d is diameter and n is the RPM. Next question, blank space is the distance of the tool advances for each revolution of the work. The answer is feed. So feed is the distance the tool advances for each revolution of the work. So here also you can see, so in one revolution how much this tool travel, that is known as the feed. Next question, which of the following is the unit of feed? The answer is mm per revolution. So mm per revolution is the unit for the feed. Next question, the depth of the cut is the blank space, distance measured from the machine surface to the surface of the workpiece which is uncut. The answer is perpendicular. Okay. So the depth of cut is the perpendicular distance measured from the machine surface to the surface of the workpiece. Okay. So we can we can define the depth of cut as the perpendicular distance from the machine surface to the surface of the workpiece. Next question. Which of the following represents the formula for metal removal rate? The answer is A into B into C divided by D. A is cutting speed, B is depth of cut, C is feed and D is revolution. So the, so the formula for calculating the metal removal rate is cutting speed into depth of cut into feed divided by revolution. Next question, which of the following represents the formula for machining time? The answer is L divided by S into N. Okay where L is length of the job, S is feed of the job per revolution and N is the RPM. So the formula for calculating machining time that is equal to length of the job divided by feed into RPM. Next question, in compound slide method which of the following is swelled? The answer is top slide. Okay, so in case of compound slide method Top slide is swelled. Next question. In compound rest method, the amount of taper for setting the angle is calculated from this formula. That is tan of the angle of taper equal to capital D minus D divided by twice L, where D is the largest diameter, small d is the smallest diameter, and L is the length of the job. So tan of the angle of taper is equal to d minus d divided by twice l. Next question, in thread cutting which of which type of the feed motion is possible? The answer is either engaging or disengaging. 
So either engaging or disengaging type of feed is used in threading operation. Next question, in thread cutting the blank space feed should be equal to the pitch of the thread which is to cut per revolution of the workpiece. Okay? So the answer is longitudinal feed. So in thread cutting the longitudinal feed should be equal to the pitch of the thread. Next question, the chasing dial is mounted on the right end of the, the answer is apron. So the chasing dial is mounted on the right end of the apron. So here you can see the chasing dial. It is mounted on right end, end of the apron. Next question, high compressive strength with negative rake. This is applicable to, the answer is carbide. Okay, so high compressive strength and negative rake angle is provided on the carbide tools. Next question, which of the following tool material has excessive wear? The answer is carbon steel and high speed steel both. So in case of carbon steel and high speed steel, the tool material has excessive wear. Next question, which of the following is the type of lathe machine? The answer is both capstan and turret are the types of lathe machine. Next question, in fixed steady rest, a fixed steady can be clamped. The answer is at any desired position on the lathe machine. So this is your steady rest. It can be mounted at any position on the lathe bed. Last question, in fixed steady rest, these rests are fixed at some intermediate point to prevent bending of the workpiece due to the answer is due to the own weight okay so due to the own weight of this job this may get bent and to avoid the bending we use this steady rest so these are 50 most important questions on the lath machine please share this video with your friends on the whatsapp and facebook so as so as to give them exposure Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.